What's up guys, welcome back to another video and uh, in today's video we are going to be talking about uh, side menu guys. Uh, side menu, hidden drawer menu, navigation drawer, hamburger menu, whatever you might call it. It's simply a uh, uh, overlay, kind of a overlay to the left or right of your uh, screen, device screen. And uh, you can simply slide it into view, choose whatever page you are willing to go. And then once you tap on it, it will automatically take you to that page. That's exactly, uh, you might have already seen this in a lot of applications. Uh, so yeah, let's see how to bring that inside our Flutter apps in, in this video. So first of all, what I'll do, is, okay, I'll increase the font size of, okay, now it's big, right? Uh, I have a blank application here. It does nothing. It just has a, I'm scaffolding out nothing here. Now what I'll do is I'll, for, as usual, go ahead and add a app bar. App bar, new, new, app bar. Cool, right? Now if I run this application, cool, right? There's nothing fancy in this here, just a uh, scaffolder, I mean, run an application, a blank application with an app bar. Now let's bring in the uh, menu, side menu. So in order to do that, after the app bar, simply use the drawer, uh, new, draw. It's really easy to do this in Flutter, guys. Uh, and inside this, you can simply specify child. We'll have like a list. You remember what we studied in the list, right? I'll add a, we already have a video on lists. I'll add a link to that video in the description below. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to add a list view here. And uh, inside that list view, what I'll do is I can simply specify children. And the first child would be, uh, what we'll do is we'll have like a, um, you would have seen in some menus, the signed in users uh, avatar would be displayed and below that the username and his email or some other details will get displayed. And below that, all the uh, navigation options will be present. You might have seen that, right? So uh, even if you haven't seen that, you will see that in a minute. Just uh, We'll just add some basic user information in the side menu, at the top of the side menu. So what I'll do is I'll uh, go ahead and new user accounts drawer header. And inside this, I'll add account uh, name first, new text. Raja. Fine. And then account email, new text once again, some test email at test.com. Fine. And uh, we'll have a avatar. So to bring in the avatar, what you'll do is you will add a current account picture. Here you need to bring in an image once again, I'm saying. So what I'll do is circle avatar. And inside this, as usual, you remember what we did with lists with JSON uh, in the list with JSON video, right? If you haven't watched that video, once again, I'll add a link in the description below. So uh, background image, as usual, uh, new network image. And I have a site here that uh, allows us to do uh, avatar, placeholder avatars. So I'll copy this. and then paste it here. Hmm, cool, right? Now I have a nice small information panel like thing wherein it will show my name Raja and my email test email at test.com and a small circle avatar. Okay, now let's see uh, how this looks on the device. If everything goes fine, we'll get this hamburger menu, whatever you call it, more options menu uh, icon button. And if I tap on this, we'll see a nice menu as you can see here. It, it's kind of like an overlay to our existing application. And you're able to see this circle avatar and my name and my email here. Cool, right? You understand how this happens, right? I can just simply slide it uh, to the left to dismiss it. I can simply slide it to the right, slide to the right to uh, bring it out as well. Yeah, this is the uh, drawer uh, navigation menu or uh, side menu or hamburger menu which you'll commonly see in many of the applications, guys. 
So uh, now let's uh, add some more stuff in this. Let's uh, maybe add a couple of uh, navigation options. We don't have anything here, right? We just have a blank menu. We'll have something and try to navigate to that page. So what I'll do is I'll go ahead and add a new file here. Uh, about dot dot about page. Okay. And we'll as usual import uh, what was it package, right? Package flutter uh, simply if we type flutter i think okay material dot dot and then here we need to do a stateful widget since it is so just type stf stateful yeah and we'll do about page the only problem with this uh, as regards to visual studio code is you just need to keep pressing down completely to bring the cursor down otherwise it will uh, still have all these multiple instances and you can't do anything once it's completely down you can simply go ahead and use it just like that it's a small uh, annoying thing but i hope they'll fix it soon anyway what was that yeah, scaffold uh, scaffold and here what i'll do is i'll simply do have an app bar app bar new app uh, bar title new text about page cool i just have another page and uh, what i'm doing is i'm uh, i simply have another page that's it I'm, i don't have anything in that so i'll get back into main dot dot and in after this user accounts drawer header is done we'll add another child uh, new list style once again if you don't know what's a list style it's simply uh, one element in that list uh, you can see the lists and dialogues video uh, for more clarification on this inside this we can simply add a title and uh, we'll say new text about uh, about page okay and we'll add a on tap method and uh, in the on tap method what you need to do is You need to navigate to that particular uh, page, right? So first, I'll import that page. Cool. Now what I'll do is I'll go here. Where is it? Yeah, go here. Navigator. Dot push. Uh, context inside this root. I'll create a new material page root and uh, inside this a uh, build context obviously i need a build context context uh what else do we need i think i confused anything so, oh, wait. oh sorry guys sorry 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 material page root is not material page root inside this i need to add a builder and this builder is the one that will take a build context as the input sorry guys i'm really sorry and uh, new about page uh, cool right now uh, we have something to that will enable us to move to the about page whenever that list item is tapped on let's see uh, what happens cool we get a about page option in our menu right and just tapping on it about it now let's try tapping on this about page and see whether it actually navigate takes us to that page cool right we just uh, uh, got into the about page get out oh okay still the menu is present here we need to get rid of that menu right so what we'll do is navigator dot uh, off context dot pop Now uh, the menu will get popped out as soon as, sorry, the menu will get popped out as soon as uh, the user taps in and uh, this uh, new page will get pushed in. Let's see how this fares. Oh, I didn't save it. Sorry guys. Now if I just tap on this, it takes us to a second page and also the menu gets popped out, right? You understand what's happening here, right? This entire menu is being pushed upon the navigator stack. Okay, so uh, uh, if I pop this before moving on to this, before pushing this route, 
then this root becomes the uh, second root in the stack so uh, wait i learned uh, this is now pushed in uh, to the stack right if i just tap here first this gets popped out and this is now pushed in so it becomes the uh, most recent uh, page that's get uh, the most recent page that's present in the stack so if i just press the back button it will automatically get popped out which means that i'll get back into my original page i hope you understood guys this is how the uh, side menu navigation between the side menu and the pages works anyway you could obviously add more options more list styles maybe uh, i'll add one more with the same stuff copy this paste it once again and uh, save this now you'll have like two nice oh you don't have anything to divide uh, simply add a divider no issues new divider now there is a nice oh you can't actually see the divider right though it's there it is a thin line what i'll do is i'll make that line a little bit thick i i think it will be a float value 5.0 Oh, wow, now you can see the divider, right? So yeah, this is the divider is not part of the video. This is how you bring in a, a what's this side menu inside your Flutter apps, guys. You saw that it was really easy and it looks really cool as well. Obviously, you could do more stuff with this uh, user drawer header, uh, user accounts drawer header, sorry. And uh, you could obviously bring in a background image or you could change the color of this according to the theme of your application. Do whatever you want with this. uh so yeah this is for how you bring in a basic side menu inside your flutter apps guys if you like this video kindly hit the like button if you like what i'm doing on this channel kindly subscribe to my channel uh if you found this video helpful kindly share it with someone and help them to subscribe to watch more cool stuff like this guys i'll talk to you guys in my next video bye